Hi guys, EBP Man here with Tablets for Me. Today we're going to take a look at one of the most powerful routers um, on the market today. This router is the AC3100 from Asus. Now before actually doing the unboxing, I just wanted to highlight uh, some of the things that Asus is promoting with this uh, router. Uh, it is promoting a very broad square footage coverage, you know, 5,400 square feet. So if you find yourself having multiple routers um, or one router with uh, Wi-Fi extenders or multiple access points, this may be a router that's going to allow you to consolidate um, what you have going on in your house. It also has um, enhanced security, which we're going to look at. It is optimized for gaming, and we'll take a, we'll try to take a look at that as well. And it features four gigabit ports. So if you um, have this in an office setting where you need to physically connect to um, the router, you have um, some very powerful ports, four ports available for you to do that. Now inside the box you're going to find um, this little guy talking about the uh, gaming acceleration software that's part of the router. You have an easy setup guide. Uh, the router itself, so you have a little uh, card that you can use to call for help, and then you have the router. Let's see if we can get this guy out. And this is a big router. This is probably one of the biggest routers that I've um, reviewed to date. Um, and you can see in the back here, we'll look at all these ports. Uh, but we'll check that out in a couple seconds. But a pretty honking router, so we'll put this over to the side. We also then have further in the box, and we'll see if we move this up. Kind of interesting packaging. Get that out. Uh, here you have the Wi-Fi antennas, so you have four here. You also then have the power adapter as well as your Ethernet cable. I don't think that there's anything else on any of the other boxes here. There isn't anything there, so you don't have to worry about any other missing parts. So one of the things I did find in the box as well was a software CD as well as a user guide and a warranty card. Now taking a closer look at the router from the back here, what you find is that you'll have a reset button. Um, you'll have your WEPS button for um, configuring, the, configuring the router. You have a USB 2.0 um, port. Uh, this is where you're going to connect your antennas and you have your 4 gigabit ports. There is another version of this router that has 8 gigabit ports. This one only has 4. This is your internet, um, your, your input from the internet. So this is what you're going to use if you have a cable provider or a fiber provider going in here. Uh, you have your power um, as well as your power button. Now if we rotate it over, you'll notice that here you have another antenna, and on this side you have another antenna. Up here in the front you have a series of LEDs just telling you about connectivity, and then you have a USB uh, 3.0 port as well um, hidden uh, over here. So we'll open this up so you can see that that's right there. So uh, that's the only additional um, hidey hole for stuff. Um, over here I don't really see anything outside of this is your Wi-Fi button and your LED button. So you can see Wi-Fi and LED there. So these are just buttons to enable and disable things, but this is where you have your USB 3.0 port, um, meaning that you can actually connect this to a hard drive and use this as an AS server as well. Now completely assembled with the antennas, and you can see that you can adjust them and rotate them to get the best sound coverage that you have in your home. Uh, the router looks like it's a stealth router, like a fighter jet, or even something that would come out of the movie Transformers. Uh, it's a really good looking router, but again, it's very big. Uh, from a performance perspective, uh, what you'll find with this router is that ASUS does claim uh, 2,167 megabits uh, as the possible uh, throughput that you're going to get uh, through this uh, router on 5 gigahertz. That's pretty fast, 2,167. Um, theoret that's a theoretical speed or maybe something that they've tested. I've, we don't have anything this fast. I have 120 megabit downloads in my home as a max, and I'm sure um, most of you who would be considering a router like this wouldn't have a connection that fast. They also claim that there is a 1,000 megabits uh, download on 2.4 gigahertz. So um, once again, pretty high um, megabit uh, speeds, uh, but nothing that we can test. Now, I have looked at um, some forums and some reviewers of this router where they've done some testing, and many are, are uh, confirming that they've been able to see upwards to 700 megabit downloads or um, megabits on this uh, specific router, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, if you have never 
worked with an Asus router before. One of the things that sets Asus apart, I think, from a lot of the routers that are out there is the ease of use of its interface. It has a really simple to use interface. It's uh, not complicated at all. So even for someone who is a beginner, uh, this is a good router because it makes things um, very easy. The other thing is, as we saw, there is some a lot of game boosting uh, features. For those of you who use an Xbox, for those of you who are, let's say, um, PC gamers, PlayStation gamers, this could be a router that you'd want to consider because of um, all the uh, gaming functionality and multimedia functionality that comes built in to really optimize that experience. It's also going to live, give you the ability to monitor who's using your network. It's going to give you the ability to see who's consuming the most bandwidth in your home. So if you have um, a lot of kids or if you're using this in a dorm and you want to see you know, where is all the bandwidth going, you'll be able to see that. So you'll be able to monitor it. As we mentioned, you have the port in the front as well in the back, a 2.0 and a 3.0. So you can turn this into like a mini NAS server as well. So you can have all your content stored uh, locally and then share that amongst all your PCs. Now one of the things I wanted to do is just give you guys a view of what the interface looks like with the ASUS uh, RT AC3100. Um, it has one of the, in my opinion, one of the easiest interfaces, um, best looking interfaces from a lot of the routers that I've seen in the market today. Uh, some of the things that you might find interesting is, uh, first of all, the ability to really um, establish a guest network. So here as I go into my guest network and some of these things are going to be blanked out, you can establish two blank networks uh, or guest networks, one at 2.4 gigahertz and one at 5 gigahertz. Uh, it really depends on what you want to do. I have only mine set up at 2.4 and you can determine if it's going to be hidden or not. You could also determine if the um, phones, Laptops, whoever you have accessing your network can also access your uh, your devices. So um, by selecting this option right here, which says access uh, intranet, and I have it set it off, what this is establishing is that these machines, phones, any kind of device that's connecting through my guest network cannot see any of my machines that are authorized on my normal network. So it creates kind of a, uh, a wall or a separate network for access. So I think that's um, pretty cool. Uh, you also have um, some network protection. So you have... Uh, for not only um, penetration protection, but you also have uh, vulnerability testing that will take place in the effect that you have a device that has a virus, it'll prevent it from accessing uh, the internet. So you notice right here where it says infect device penetration and blocking. So all you do is you go into this area here and you notice um, all these settings. And you know this is for, uh, powered by Trend Micro. So you have the ability to say, you know, do a security assessment, uh, malicious uh, site blocking. So if you have children in your home or you know, elderly, just individuals that are not PC savvy, you can use uh, this uh, technology just to block things. And then if you have an infected machine, as you can see here, you could uh, prevent a infected machine from uh, communicating personal information, which I think is pretty cool. And you also have the ability to set up an alert. Uh, another feature that I really like about this router is, um, you know, the bandwidth monitor. So um, we consume a lot of bandwidth uh, in my home. So I have um, Xbox, PlayStation, you know, Skype, um, Dolby, all going at the same time. And what ends up happening is there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, so um, being able to see uh, my analysis of how the data is being used is, I think, pretty good for me. And then you also have quality of service settings. So the quality of service settings gives you the ability to establish which computers are going to have preferential bandwidth. So this is really great. So if you have voice over IP or for, in my case, where I have a home office, um, I like being able to make sure that I have the best internet connection, no matter what anyone else in the house is doing. So it's going to take priority over anyone who is using, for example, Netflix or streaming on YouTube or using Fire Stick. So you can uh, control that as well. And you can enable that here and then choose your machines. One thing that I'm really excited about is the uh, WT Fast GPN. So this is really uh, to optimize your gaming experience. And um, as you notice here, you have um, several settings that you can um, establish. Uh, something for if you're a hardcore gamer and want to check this out, I think that you know having a router that is designed with a game boost option to give you the best uh, performance without um, losing a lot of, I would say, or having a lot of latency um, is probably um, something that you'd want to consider. Uh, it also has a traffic analyzer, and the traffic analyzer shows you by machine how much each one of your clients are consuming, and you can switch through all your machines. I'm going to block out some of this information. I'll leave the information on the side visible, just I just want to keep my 
machine name is private. But here you can see a lot of data, and the data can be shown um, either by the device itself, or I could actually look at the apps and I can see what people are using the most. So I can see that there's um, some Steam going on, I can see YouTube, and then uh, some speed tests that we've been doing. And the speed tests, I have to say that uh, this router is performing exceptionally well. I'm seeing um, well over 125 megabits uh, speed tests on, on, on my network. Uh, wirelessly, and I was seeing the same device with the previous router was seeing uh, 30 megabit download speeds. So significant improvement, and the router is covering much more than what I had before. Uh, the um, you have also for USB, but I won't go into that because that's pretty straightforward. And then um, also this is if you want to connect to the AI cloud. You have several other settings here: uh, wireless connectivity, how you're going to set up your WAN, LAN, VPN access, firewall administration and, and some networking tools. But you know, I just wanted to highlight the things that I thought that were the coolest and the things that you may be interested in if you're considering a router of this type. So this concludes our review of the AC3100 uh, Extreme Wi-Fi Router from Asus. If you have any comments or questions about this product, leave it on the YouTube channel. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.